couple of new things I want to talk about today. Um, I was after some one of the first thing I did was I was after some money. Um, <laughs> as we all are. Um, I was after some money, play money, to, to play games and things like that. And uh, I found I didn't have any. And uh, I went on the, the, the net and uh, and I went to Amazon and I, I checked to see how much the, the play money was. And um, the, it was quite expensive. It was about 13 quid for, for Monopoly money. Well, I went and had a look around for printable money on, on the net. And there's a, two or three people print it. It's the old type money. It's not the new money for uh, Monopoly, but it's the old one, 1940s stuff. But um, I made a little box here, and uh, I printed out because the money's only printed on one side in any case on Monopoly, Monopoly money, and um, I printed out as much as I wanted. So I put the ones on. They, they give you a template for ones, twos, threes, fours, fives. Uh, there's ones and there's um, fives and uh, these are all printed out with a bubble jet um, and there's twenties and fifties Hundreds and it stops at 500 but I wanted bigger denominations than 500 and you can see these are very very old uh, they're, they're, they're not it's not the new stuff I don't know how legal this is to do this but I mean it didn't seem illegal I mean I don't know whether it is or not but in any case um, what I did was I took one of the, the, the things and I uh, I took out the, the 500 and I put in a thousand as you can see there because there isn't a thousand one on the old money and then what I did was I changed the colour in my uh, Paint Shop Pro 7 which I use all the time which is a, a, a 15 year old program now it's, it's nearly 15 years old and I, I, did, I tried a couple of colours it was originally the yellow colour there you can see there yellowish colour and I changed it to red and I thought well Blue looked the nicest, so I did a few blue and a few red, and uh, it doesn't really matter. And I thought, well, sometimes you need bigger denominations than that, so I did a 5,000. <laughs> anyway, I won't go on about that, I'll stop there. And um, I made a little, a little box to put them in, which is, uh, it took me quite a bit of time to do, actually. Yeah, Wilton Road's banking, large sums lost, Lloyd's Bank, and... Uh, it, it, it all costs nothing apart from the paper and the inks of course and whatever you're using but you're using that in any case anyway I shall, I'll move this out of the way and um, I'll go on to my next thing I won't because somebody told me the other day I blathered too long so I don't want to offend anybody else so I, I shall stop there just move this out of the way for a minute And uh, I've been going through all the games and I found a game called uh, Ligretto or Ligretto Dice Game and it's by Inca and Markham or Marcus and it's got tactic I don't know what, what actually that means and um, what I did was I had a couple of problems with it but I I, it, it was just a little bit of a challenge and I don't think I'll make another one because it was, it was quite complicated this one but anyway um, I made the box which is quite normal and the reason the box is big is for the dice shakers I was trying to make some flat ones but I ran out of patience you know the ones I mean where, where they have the, the dice shakers are flat that's to get them in the box like so but um I was having a bit of trouble with that so I didn't bother and what I found was that I've been using I've been using a Saxa salt cellar um, sea salt and what it is it's uh, I've been putting bits and pieces in it and I thought well what I'll do is I'll cut them in half 
make a new bottom and then do uh, do the things. Well I'd made the box already and when I came to it you can see that they're, they're well above the well above the box itself so I had to cut a new one and these are about if you want to get dice shakers dice shakers are not expensive it's it's the posters and package and I've been making these out of kitchen rolls and they're quite good but uh, they're quite tall again and they're a bit they're the same when you work it out they're about the same size as the other one so what I did I cut these smaller and instead of covering it with the material I just painted it with acrylic paint and put a thing inside and that will take 12 dice quite happily yeah there's six dice in there and six dice in there so if two two's playing the game it will play 12. so that was that was I worked that out that was quite good and then um, a bit overboard so that was the shakers taken care of and then I wanted the dice well I had to send away from the dice I'm not making dice I have got some blocks which I sent for but I bought the dice and I think these were I think this cost me about five or six quid you got to get like sort of three sets like this and they come in different colors you get three packs like that for about three pound odd and then you've got to buy another pack to get to make up the set that you want but you'll get two sets so you can make two games so it's only three pound a game if you want to work it out and it i mean the game's only about three quid to buy so i'm shooting myself in the foot but um the game that you get is nothing like this and what you do is you need a bag to put these in so you can put your hand in and get to, if there's two of you playing you 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 select 12 dice and you've got to do it without looking so all i did was i got a black plastic little bag and uh, so you pop the dice in and then you put your hand in there so that was that was that taken care of until i can get something i'll probably get my daughter to make me a little bag and then actually two dice shakers and that's your dice and then the rules which are by uh, Inker and Marcus uh, which I copied off the off the net and there's nothing much to the rules and then I, because dice go all over and there are there's 24 dice trundling around I built a little thing that goes inside the box so everything's complete so the dice can be thrown actually um, in the area that you're playing and um, I did a little board which is the actual play it, it is a, a board sort of a board and dice game and I haven't even played it yet I know how to play it but I haven't played it yet and uh, and that's the board itself so I'm waiting till either Saturday or Sunday till my daughter and son-in-law comes because I think it needs about three people to play. It's a fast and furious game. It's for kids. There's not a lot of thinking in it. There's a lot of speed. There's a lot of uh, mind activity, but uh, it's not. There's not. There's no. There's no real challenge for adults. I don't think. But uh, I. It was the making of the game that I enjoy. That's that's what. That's what I enjoy. But I, I, this is it, and I don't think I'll make another one of these. It was. It was. Because that's the board you've got to make, and the, the the picture, and then the boxes, and then you've got to make the thing. My daughter might say, if she likes this, she might say, I, I hope she doesn't like it because I, I don't really want to make another one of these. <laughs> but I will make one if she wants one. And everything fits inside, and the dice go in, and it's a complete game. And uh, the actual game, when you buy it from Marcus and Ingus, uh, is a small a small box there's different types of things and they're in different colors and stuff like that and uh, it goes down well with kids it's a bit it's a bit it's not ludo but that's the, that's the idea of the game it's a, it's a simple game to play and you play it by uh, moving up the moving up the things with, with your dice 
So if you've got one red, you start off with ones and then you've got to, you can't, before you lay a two, you've got to lay a one. So if you're throwing the dice and you throw one red, the next one is a two red. But you can't throw a two red until you get a one red on. It's, it's quite, it sounds complicated, it's quite simple really. Anyway, I'll stop there. It's, this is just a record for me. I don't know how many laws I've broken or who's going to be annoyed with me or whatever, but uh, I was quite pleased that I'd done the game. Uh, how, how, how how well the game runs, I've got no idea. I'll let you know after the weekend when uh, when we actually play it. I know how to play it, it's just that uh, it's so simple, it's ridiculous. It's, it takes about 30 seconds to learn and uh, I don't think you'd ever forget it after that. Anyway, I shall stop there. I don't think I've got anything else that's new to tell you. And uh, I don't know how legal it is. For making that money I'm not quite sure but it's it's it is the old money it's not the new the new model money and uh, so if I get into trouble for it I'll probably I've got some dollars uh, specimen dollars and specimen pounds which you can use as play money so I'll, I, if I get thing I'll use them instead anyway I'll stop there and uh, hope this has entertained somebody or influenced somebody or given somebody something <laughs>